hi so in this video we are going to learn a hen so let's start so to create a hen first we are going to create a circle shape small circle shape like this after that we're going to create a curve from here again a curve your pencil should be lighter now keep this curve till here just drag it like this after this from here join it and now we're going to create her feathers so the kind of a space we're going to take we're going to just mark it like this the way you can see can you raise the extra lines after that a y shape like this to create her feet create a semicircle and create some random shapes for the background just move your pencil like this that's all you need to do now at the top this will going to disturb so that's why i have just erased it now one and two curve after this u one more it should be little big and one smaller one make beak i'm making a v shape and again enlarge it like this you can create eyes by making a simple circle or make a circle and we're going to enhance it later after that here make a curve again like this now here one two three like this again one second one like this and the another one like this You can erase this one. We don't require it now that we have completed our shape. Now again this after this again a curve. First here like this now again see here we just need to work on the curves it's okay if you cannot make it like this but you just need to focus in your pencil how you are going to move it it is like this like um see first you just need to practice like this first of all and then you can easily move your hand see here and now this one more that's all we need to do and here again we're gonna make curve like 
this. Kind of a leaf shape I want to make over here. Same thing you need to try. Again, make a U shape. And one more U shape. Already we have one curve here. So now the extra lines which you can see, you can erase it later. Or if you want to erase it right now, you can do that. Rest, create some flowers if you want to. If you want to beautify your drawing. If you want to create different kind of flowers you are free to do that you can make it now erase those extra lines always whenever you make any kind of a background make it the way you have seen earlier like I have started my wave over here and I have ended till here later I can delete it so like this your drawing will stay in a proportion what I mean to say that sometime it happens that like I have made one line over here and I need same line here but if I make it like this so it will come at the exact proportion I can say where I need it or if I will do randomly like here and like this it can be either below or above Raise your drawing a little bit. this we are going to color our drawing so let's start coloring and I am going to teach you what all colors you require so first we need to do yellow color after that use blue color and here we are going to use olive green color And again we are gonna use purple color you can use wallet also here we are gonna use blue orange now here we are going to use yellow color and orange color and we are going to merge it I'm going to show it to you You just need to complete the coloring which I have shown you at the background. Here we are going to use maroon color. So complete your background coloring. So I hope you have completed the coloring. You just need to do flat coloring at the background the way you can see in this video. Try that, that the white space should be less vis visible. Try that, that. Kindly try that white space 
should be less visible so now we are going to color our head so here i've told you we're gonna do tomato red Now take deep yellow and orange so first we are gonna do yellow color I'm keeping one paper over here again and now smudge it with the help of deep yellow Here on a beak we are going to do maroon color. And here also we are going to use maroon color. If you want you can do a little bit of shading with deep yellow. And it's up to you otherwise you can color maroon so here we have completed it now we're gonna use to measure it And you can outline it so here again we're going to use maroon color so here again we're going to use maroon color Now again, we're going to use similar color till here and after that we're going to use orange color over here or we can use tomato red. So like this, we are going to complete it. Again, tomato red color. Here also, now we're going to use orange. And again, we are going to shade it with the help of deep yellow. And now we are going to use Persian blue color.
after this we are going to color our, after this we are going to color our flowers here i'm going to use lemon yellow you can use any other color also if you want to And here I'm gonna use yellow color. This is lemon yellow, this is medium yellow. Now we are going to outline it but first we are going to fill the color at the center. Remove extra color particles with the help of the brush. Do not use your hand while doing it. It will smudge your color in that way which you really don't want. So let's start outlining. First of all we are going to make beak.
now just to beautify our work we're gonna use white color and you can use um, a brush and acrylic color or poster colors whatever you have at your home see so we're going to add some dots at the top And we're going to create last stamp. Just straight line. And see how we're going to create leaves. Just keep your brush like this. Now this shape. That's it. Again I'm showing you. Let me complete this stamp first. Now see. This. This. That's it. If you are not getting the exact shape of the leaves, it's okay. We are learning. So don't seek for the perfection. Mm, we can add some knots over here also. See, that is your choice if you want to if you don't want to, that is okay so now again I've seen one more portion so yeah also we're gonna create some and now our work is complete